I've completed my test of the dado blade and it seems to work fairly well and I've got what I think is the correct depth and width on the routing or dado cut of this experimental block which is exactly the same as the frame members for uh, the actual trailer. Uh, so what we have here is a dado cut that is about one half the depth of the frame member and another one on the opposite side or the perpendicular frame member. They'll go together like this and into that I will drill a 5 16 inch hole that I can place this dowel or pin in for added strength and I'll glue it in. I drill right down the center and I'll place that dowel in then we'll glue all of that together um, let it set up overnight but we know what the result will be I think uh, and then finish that off as sort of a final uh, guide to how this piece will go together. So here we go. We'll be careful uh, when drilling this to be sure that I have a perpendicular hole and you can see I've sort of set up a jig here with just a scrap piece of wood so that when I drill through I'll have a nice clean uh, exit. Uh, I chose a wood glue of course for this particular project but importantly I chose one that was waterproof because if this trailer is going to get used in Portland, Oregon any time other than July to September it's going to get wet. Just make sure we have plenty of glue in the pinhole here. As you can see, a good bit of extra glue in that arena, in that area. Just put a little bit. Okay, I've wiped up the excess uh, with the little rag here. I'm going to use this cheap little clamp that I got at uh, Harbor Freight. And we'll just put that directly over this part of the piece. I'm going to leave that pin. Uh, I'm not going to clamp onto that pin. You can kind of see right now that I probably needed a little bit more glue here uh, on this side, but uh, we'll correct that in the final version when we actually join the frame members together.